Hey everyone, thank you guys so much for returning back to another great cleaning motivational video. Today's video has changed as I go forward cleaning my home. It was supposed to be a simple clean with me, but it actually turned out into an extreme clean with me. So I hope you guys enjoy. We're just gonna go ahead and continue with this cleaning and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. The three main rooms in my home as of this point that I wanted to get cleaned real good is the bathroom number one, my living room, and my last room that I wanted to get clean was my kitchen. Those are the rooms that are mostly used 98% of the day. So I just wanted to tackle those. So today, since I am just surface cleaning, I'm going to go ahead and clean the tub out because it's probably been a few days since I did it the last time. And as you can see, if you can see, it's very filthy. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the bottom of the tub cleaned out today. All right, so now since the bathroom is completely finished, it was fresh, smells good. It's like that every time I clean it. I actually think I'm really loving cleaning these areas in my home. The result at the end is just so much rewarding. But now I'm in my living room, I decided to start in this room first. Well, second, I should say, because the lighting, it was getting late in the afternoon and I wanted to get this one done because this is the room that has less lighting. Even when I have all of the lights in my my living room it still looks dark so now I'm just replacing and putting things in different areas in the living room I will be dusting I will be vacuuming wiping things off and doing a little bit of rearranging
Um, let me just say this real quick. If things always look well kept and put together in my home, it's not always what it seems. But for the most part, I do try on a daily basis to keep everything in its rightful place. That usually a lot of times does not happen. You guys are really honestly seeing me cleaning on camera, but I always clean my home each and every day. I have to. I have myself, my two kids, plus four fur babies. So it's a lot, but practicing and doing this for years, I guess I am immune to it, used to it, I should say. So that is the reason why if you look at my channel and you're like, her house is always put together, it's so far the truth. But I try to practice and make sure on my days that I am feeling unmotivated and overwhelmed with life and situations, I still at least try to get up and keep my house neat. I should say neat instead of tidy, you know? So that's just how I am with my home. But trust me, <laughs> it's dirty. The camera or, or your phone, whichever you're using, it usually hides a lot of dirtiness. But anyways, I just wanted to throw that out there and to let you guys know there's no such thing as perfect. There's progress. And it's just, that's just how life is. Um, with cleaning, you have to be careful. If you are a um, social media um, influencer, which I consider myself not, I am just here to help you guys. If I can give you guys any tips, this is realistic cleaning. You know, this is not staged or nothing like that. This is just how my life is and how my apartment looks on a, <laughs> on an everyday basis, sometimes worse. But I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm honestly here trying to show you guys, you know, ways that I clean my home. If you can follow it, if you choose to follow it, and if you want to, then that's wonderful. But I'm honestly, truthfully here just to help. That's why I share this part of my life with you guys.
until I get like a basket to go right here in this corner. I'm just gonna go ahead. I took this out of my pantry on the shelf that I have there. So I think that looks nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this little dragonfly, little succulent plant in front of it. And then up here, I just have my candle. So I'll step back and show you guys how it turned out. All right, sorry about the lighting, you guys. It's getting dark, it's almost six o'clock. But I think me taking this shelf out of the kitchen, just switching them, this really, the uh, living room doesn't have um, a color scheme yet, but this white and brown shelf looks way better in here than what it did in the kitchen. But I am loving how this turned out and I still have to go. I'm trying to figure out if I want to put a basket or maybe a clock in the middle in this little section right up there. But I love how it turned out. So yeah, this looks nice in here. Okay, so let's continue cleaning. <laughs> Alright, here is the state of my kitchen. I need to replace that shade. The cats get in the window with their big heads and just tear it up. So I'm going to have to take that down and get that replaced. I had to put dinner on because it is well after 7 o'clock p.m. at night. Um, this stuff over here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I have to clean the sink out before I do all of these dishes, they have to be done. I did rearrange this little setup over here that I have for St. Patrick's just a little bit. It made more sense how I have it now. These right here in front is the cookbooks that need to go on the brown shelf that was in my front room. So it's really not too much. I know this supposed to be a surface clean with me, but this is a reality clean with me and I wanna get my kitchen done, get myself and my kids fed and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and start cleaning up. I forgot that I have my crock pot over there on the counter, so I had to add that. But this is how this little shelf um, is looking. It looks nice, but I know if I'm still trying to collect more cookbooks that I'm going to have to get a bigger one, but this will do for now.
you guys, it's almost eight o'clock at night and I am almost finished. Thank goodness. I worked up a little sweat, but that's a good thing. Um, I went ahead and vacuumed off camera because it's late to me as, you know, living in an apartment complex. I don't want to disturb anyone. So I went ahead and did that off camera. So that's taken care of. The only two things left I have to do is clean my sink out and I'm using some baking soda and vinegar to disinfect it and deodorize it, get that taken care of. And then on my left side, on my left side, I'm pointing at my counter, wipe that off, and we are completely finished with this cleaning motivation. So let's go ahead and tackle this. you guys this is the end of the video it feels so good to get your space cleaned i hope my video was enough to give you guys some type of plenty motivation um motivation around your home around your space around your area whether you are going to tackle it and get it all done like i did today or just take one room at a time thank you guys so much for stopping by thank you for the support that you guys show on my channel every time that i upload and post the video I'm so grateful to have you guys. Until the next video, take care. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.